uh, the BBC contacted my agent and uh, asked if I wanted want to do it. I think they picked me because I went on my weakest link and I've done terrible on my weakest link on foot off, sec off second. Uh, so I'm hoping to do one better and uh, go all the way on this let's, let's dance. And it's one man. Who are the other boxers that are involved? Uh, Carl Frotch, uh, John Nelson, and Duke McKenzie. So Carl's a, a current world champion and the two former world champions. And you've got little old me on the corner. Uh, so it's this, it's good. We've, uh, we've been working really, really hard we're trying to learn to dance. And uh, you would think it was easy, but it's not. It's hard, especially being a bit punch drunk and all that, you know, <laughs> forgetting, forgetting the moves. But that's the hardest thing. But we're getting there, like, we're, we're getting there, and I think it'll be a. Uh, well, it should come across well, I hope it comes across well. It, it's for charity, um, but there's going to be something like 8 million people watching on prime time on a Saturday night. Aye, there is. They said they said that I had a record day. It was 9 million last week uh, watching BBC One on a Saturday night. Bloody hell. So, it's just going to be really nerve wracking. And uh, to deal with our first uh, rehearsal on the stage with, uh, with all the lights and all that. And, uh, that was even nerve wracking. There was no one in the audience. Uh, it was very nerve wracking. And uh, so tomorrow, when well, I know I'm going to be live on the, on the telly, that's I know what that's going to be like. And it, 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 out the group, who's the best dancer and who's the worst dancer? Uh, Johnny's do, Johnny's the best. He's just got that rhythm, and I think everyone, everyone I've told Johnny Nelson's doing the dancing. The board saw. Bet you, bet he's a brilliant dancer. Uh, so he's probably the best. And now. Uh, uh, I think what, the other three, the three of us were way the worst. <laughs> but uh, we must have done it over a hundred times. I don't think there's once where we've won every, every part of it perfect. So yeah, hopefully yeah. tomorrow, the big night, we'll uh, get a perfect match. What about um, in terms of this once this is done? Yeah, will be back into the training now, won't it, for April 23rd? That's it. I, uh, I was being, I've been training hard before this, so I'm, I'm fit at the minute. Uh, so as soon as this is over, I'm getting straight back into training. Uh, April 23rd is my date off Frank, so uh, I'll be training very hard for that. And, uh, I can't wait to get out. It's been it was December when I boxed last. And, uh, what is it now? It's the end of February, so I really can't wait to get out again. I, I want to fight before then, but Frank's uh, says, uh, when my injuries heal up properly, which it has, I think, and get out then, so we'll wait and see. Has that been frustrating for you? Like the the injury sort of thing because it, you had a few injuries as an amateur but you, you were free for a long time as a pro and then you've had a couple of niggling ones. Yeah, I mean they've not been serious injuries. When I was an amateur I had a few serious injuries uh, but they've not been serious injuries but uh, Frank's just been really cautious and wants us to make sure it's 100% before before I get straight back in and I, I think it's 100% Frank wants to give a little bit more time so we're doing that. Better safe than sorry, that's what Frank says so he's the boss. What about fighting on the undercard of a WBC final eliminator in front of Rendell's home fans? It's a chance for you to sort of make your name in the Midlands because you've missed them two Nottingham shows through yeah. injury, so this would be a good opportunity to show oh, them it's fans. Great. It's great. I mean, I've boxed in the same thing now with Rendell's a couple of times. Uh, and he's got brilliant, really good support. And uh, I, I get on, on with the sport with a lot of them, and I, I get on with them. They're a good set of, set of fans. And, uh, it'd be great to box down there. I know he's boxed in Sunday, but I've not boxed where it needs one town, so it'll be, it'll be good and I'm looking forward. Your Twitter race with Darren Bent, didn't you? But what have you been up to um, in between your dancing lessons? I've just been, I've been uh, in the hotel, the hotel BBC's put us up and BBC's really looked after us, put us up in a really nice hotel. And I've just been really hammering my Twitter, uh, speaking to everyone, and uh, been getting some good feedback off the dancing. And, my Facebook group as well, it's been, uh, been on there a lot, speaking to people, so because I'm here by myself, I've got my Twitter and my Facebook page to keep us company, so it's been good.